In this video, we're going to go over a personalization that I'm working on uh, specifically for deeper in your email sequence. So when you're using AI personalizations, uh, sometimes you're sending a campaign and there's specific criteria about the campaign of how these people qualify for the campaign, right? So we've launched campaigns in the past where we're only going to email people who have been founders one time in their career. And this is the first time that they've been a founder and they've never been a founder before. So now there's a whole swath of people. I would even say, well, I would say, I would say most people probably have never been founders before when there's probably more first time founders out in the world than second, third, fourth time founders. Right. But I digress. Now, when we're reaching out to people, we want to say something personalized either to the people that are second time, third time founders, or we want to say something personalized later in the sequence. Sometimes it gets a little bit tougher because we don't want to say something that's going to disqualify a whole group again, and then we wouldn't be able to reach out to people. So what I'm working on right now is a AI to create an analogy between the company that we're reaching out to and, and us so that we could start email two or email three with something like, you know, the same way that Salesforce helps people streamline their CRM, Growth Nginx helps people streamline their outbound sales process, whatever it might be. And so we've created this prompt to get this done. I've done no training to this prompt and I'm going to talk through my thoughts on it. So using the input, create an analogy, connecting how the company in the input helps their customers and how we can help them. The description of the company that we're looking to create an analogy with is this, and then we have the company description. The analogy should be specific and relate to how our company helps our customers. This is how our company helps our customers. And then I just put in, you know, growth engine X. I would expand this a lot more. And now here's the most important part of the prompt, in my opinion. Most of the time, companies help save time, save money, or make more money. First, think of how the company most obviously helps another company or customer, and then analogize that to how we help customers. Make sure the output is just one sentence that's under 20 words. And so I think this was the most important part where without that, it was kind of going into different directions. So what I wanted it to do, and I could train it to do this a lot better. Um, I've added no training data into this prompt. What we could do is we could basically say, okay, Salesforce helps people save time or most predominantly it helps people make more money or more predominantly it helps them save money, whatever it might be. Then what I could do to increase the likelihood of a good match is in my company description, which I didn't do in this example, what we could do is we could say, we help people save time for these three reasons. We help people make more money with these three reasons. We help them save more money with these three reasons. And then say, okay, how now it's like prompt it to say, okay, think thoroughly about how this company helps people save time, save money or make more money. And then you'd be able to get the good connections between the two of them. And so um, if we say one schema, just as one schema streamlines data import to bolster customer activation, we optimize sales outreach to maximize revenue without expanding teams, right? So now imagine email two being sent where now we have this really nice personalization about what their company does and how you know we're similar. And see how, so one schema is a data import software. And so it really has nothing to do with growth Nginx, but we're trying to put it down into, hey, you help people streamline things, we help people streamline things, right? And th so that's the, right? Because there's no actual relation between our companies, but like the fact that we both streamline things is what we're trying to get the connection on here. And so uh, hat tip to Kyle Rasmussen for telling me about this one. I think it's really interesting. I want to work on probably seven or eight different AI lines that no matter who we're reaching out to, if the if they still at a top level should be reached out to because they're in the industry that we want to target, they have the employee headcount range we want to target and the title that we want to target, but we can't find anything recent about them or you know technologies on their site that we want to mention. We want to have these fallback AI lines so that every email we're sending still has this level of personalization. And so, uh, yeah, this is how we did it. This is what I'm thinking about. And I hope that is helpful to you.